All right, welcome back. Uh, this is the video that I told you guys about. I was going to Mr. Deal's in uh, Albany, New York. And uh, suffice it to say, Mr. Deal's has a ton of stuff. I mean, aside from video game, I think I got a lot more at Video Game Castle, but Mr. Deal's had a lot of stuff that uh, was... Uh, rare, uh, that I still can't find or couldn't find for a decent price. They got a ton of stuff. Mr. Deals, guys, check them out if you're in the Massachusetts, you know, Albany, uh, New York area, uh, Connecticut, even Vermont, that type of area, Pennsylvania. Well, Pennsylvania's too far away, but the long and short of it is check out Mr. Deals. It's in uh, Central Ave. First game I'm going to go over with you. This is pretty cool. I found it. Huh. I'm laughing because I talked the guy down to a, d a price. It's actually the price that's on the thing. Oh, that's right. He put it on there. That makes more sense. All right. So this is for the Sega Saturn. This is a Virtuacop 2 uh, game and stunner arcade gun in the box. Okay. Now, the, I talked him down. He originally wanted 49 I got it for 42 Uh The reason why is because the game itself in here didn't have the original instructions in it. It was just in a regular case. I did, however, find Virtuacop 2 in its original case, the big case, not the small case, uh, like a PlayStation 1 case, uh, or play, play, like the later PlayStation 1 games, not the tall boxes that they originally came in, like, you know, Tekken and Face Off and Game Day, that sort of case, but the smaller cases, as you can see. But anyway, this is Virtuacop 2 in the box, okay? Decent condition, not great, decent condition. And you can see the gun... You know, the Saturn's there, uh, and other stuff. So, you know, this is made, includes Virtuacop 2 and Stunner Arcade Gun, the Virtuacop weapon of choice. So there you go. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. I grabbed that, uh, and let's open the box. He taped everything up, which was nice of him, so I could carry everything back. You know, he was going to give me, like, shopping bags, and the guy's like... To the employee there, no, what are you doing? Give him a give him a priority mail box. You know, he got a lot of stuff, so that was nice of him. So anyway, let's open this stuff up and see what we got. Alright, because I got a ton of stuff I'm I'm happy about. The first, get this done quickly, the first game that we have is NBA Hoops. You know, another NBA jam type game with Shaq on the cover for the PS1. Pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff here. Okay. But NBA Hoops, uh, the results don't show up on a scoreboard. Try the Richter scale. The only dedicated 3-on-3 three -three extreme-style basketball video game available this season. More than 500 high-flying animations, sharp graphics, player models, and animated crowds. Addicting mini-games like 21, 2-ball, and Around the World. Secret hitting courts like Beachside and Street Court. Jamming on Fire Mode and official NBA stats and player rosters. And then in the in-game graphics, they have Shaq Diesel with the jam, Dish the no-look pass, Gravity Defying Dunks, Slamming on Fire Mode, Baby Hook in the Paint, and Rip Player Models. So NBA Hoops from Midway. Oh, this is for the Dreamcast. I'm sorry. I thought it was the PS1. This is NBA Hoops for the Dreamcast. My bad. Graphically, it looks terrible. It looks like a PS1 game. Wait a minute. Yeah. BMU. This is Dreamcast. NBA Hoops. Next game is for the Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure 2, one of the hardest ones to find. There you go. Okay. Sonic Adventure 2. It came out right when the Dreamcast was really, you know, to the point where it was uh, dying out. But anyway, save the world or conquer it. Mistaken for a dark villainous hedgehog and kidnapped by a military squad, Sonic must escape his captors and discover who is responsible for his troubles. With six playable characters, all new moves, and more than 30 stages, Sonic Adventure 2 breaks new ground, allowing players to save the world or conquer it. Play as Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, or try the new villains, Shadow, Rogue, Rogue or Ravage, the world as Dr. Robotnik. Compete in three different modes of two-player action or in the new kart racing. New moves include grind down rails, grab ledges, and swing from poles. Collect a new smarter child to open unique features and minigames. So, Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast. On all its glory. Okay, next game we got. Let's go with this. We got, and I think I have one of these, but the box was a lot better. So I grabbed the box here, as you can see. But this is, uh, let me rip that off. Sega Sports, Deion Sanders, NFL Primetime. Okay, it's obviously complete. As you all know, I don't like my Genesis games without the completeness of it. Okay, 
Uh, step up to the fastest gameplay ever, courtesy of Deion Sanders. Primetime NFL football stars Deion Sanders is the ultimate free agent, and you're in control. You choose which team plays with every quarterback's worst nightmare. More details than ever. Individual team playbooks, increased difficulty levels, stat tracking in more than 40 categories, and a new record book that stores team and individual bests. Only primetime NFL football offers incredible control at the line of scrimmage, allowing you to send players in motion and audible to different formations. NFL and NFL players' endorsements mean all 30 teams, all the players, and accurate stats based on the 94 season. Includes the two new expansion teams, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers. Primetime NFL football lets you choose to be the quarterback or the receiver, making you as versatile as Deion Sanders. And then the in-game graphics, it says, NFL and NFL player endorsements means that even the newest teams make it in primetime NFL football. Create your own players. With cool camera angles like this, you can watch Hail Marys develop 65 yards downfield, and all the teams and pros are waiting right here. Come play with the stars and experience hard-hitting NFL action. 16 meg cart. Okay, see if you can see the graphics on here. Yep. Primetime NFL, Deion Sanders. All right, next game we got for the N64, it's Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, complete in box. I've been waiting for this for a while. I have Banjo Tui, but this was the first one. Banjo Kazooie. I remember playing this game. I never beat it, uh, partly because I, I got so frustrated. But I was in an ice level, and I had to like shoot some. I forget which one, but I had to shoot one of them out of a out of a cannon, and they had to hit snowmen, and I could not do it, and I freaked out. Man, this was probably the most. Aside from aside from uh, the first Crash Bandicoot, one of the hardest games I've ever played, and some of you may laugh and say, oh, Banjo-Kazooie was easy. I beat that when I was 12. Well, for me, obviously, when I was 14 when it came out or whenever it was, I had issues. So action and puzzles and bears are mine. Trouble brews when Gruntilda the Witch captures the unbearably beautiful cub, Tootie. But before the grizzly hag can steal the bear's good looks, Big Brother Banjo and his fine-feathered friend Kazooie join forces to stop her. Combining their 24 moves and special powers, Banjo and Kazooie will fend off armies of beasts. Bear and Bird must hunt down the 100 mute puzzle pieces and 900 musical notes that will ultimately lead them to Gruntilda. However, miles of swamp, desert, and snow, and one bear of an adventure stand in their way. And then you got Soar over islands to scout out buried treasure. Brave past whirling blades in the belly of a mechanical shark. With some voodoo magic, transform into different creatures to gain special powers. And solve the puzzles of the ancients to unearth the cursed labyrinth. So Banjo-Kazooie N64, one of the best games I think Rare has ever done. My opinion. Next game, this is not sealed, even though it is. I mean, it's sealed, but it's not factory sealed, okay? Uh, I picked it up at, at there, though. He told me, he was honest. He told me it was not factory sealed, um, but they sealed it just to make sure. The cart's in mint condition. Uh, they just sealed it because it's, you know, the cart is in mint condition. This is South Park Rally for the N64, South Park racing game. Get driving with your bad self. Face off against Cartman, Grandpa, Scuzzlebutt, Starvin, Marvin, and the rest of the South Park in the wildest, raunchiest road race ever. Loaded with dozens of insane vehicles and sweet custom sound bites. Ride with Atharita and dozens of awesome vehicles. I'm super. Thanks for asking. Uh, big AL. Break like the wind with Terrence and Phillip. And honk if you're packing sweet pickups. So anyway, from Acclaim Entertainment, South Park Rally for N64. It is sealed, however not factory sealed. Next game, Sonic and Knuckles, another rare one to find, complete in box, decent shape, nothing special, but decent decent shape. There's Sonic and Knuckles, and I remember when this game came out, the cartridge was the weirdest cartridge ever, and you could actually uh, connect this to other Sonic games, if I remember correctly. I think you can, and uh, let's see what it says. Sonic and Knuckles join forces to defeat rotten Dr. Robotnik's death egg invasion. Play Sonic and Knuckles by itself or lock on with other Sonic games. This game's revolutionary lock on technology adds all new features to your other Sonic games for ultimate replays. Play as Sonic and let loose on Robotnik with amazing new powers. Play as Knuckles and tackle Robotnik and Metal Sonic with bare fisted attacks, high speed glides, and wall climbing power. You can lock on with Sonic 2 and play as Knuckles with all his signature moves, and you can lock on with Sonic 3 and transform Floating Island into a huge 34 meg Sonic epic loaded with new secrets. Play as Sonic Knuckles and even Tails with game save. So there you go, Sonic and Knuckles uh, for the Genesis. Complete. Okay. Right. Next game we got is NBA Live 96, complete in box for the Sega Genesis, as you can see. Live 96, let me... Magic Court, Home Court, NBA Live 96. 
I think this is one of my favorite NBA Live covers, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know why, it just I liked it a lot. But back-to-back uh, -back champion. NBA Live 96 returns for another championship season. New player animations and realistic strategy make it the coolest hoops game ever created on the Sega Genesis. Uh, the fresh features, action, new animations, check out the one-on-one -on -one moves. New dunks include tip slams and power dunks. Passing on the run and turbo features let you fast break, alley-oops, block dunks, and mid-air passes, and new crowd chants and interactive crowd free throw action. Strategy, real NBA strategy, new on-the-fly play calling, new animated play diagrams, over 60 offensive plays and 10 defensive sets. And the depth, new create, draft, edit, and trade player features, team player and user stats are saved all season long, play in full season exhibition or go direct to playoffs anytime, all 29 NBA teams, two all-star and four custom teams, four player action. And then the in-game graphics say create players, create draft and edit players, even trade any player in the league. Check out Mitch Richmond. They have a graphic of Mitch Richmond and his attributes. Shake and bake. Peyton mesmerizes a D with a new spin and move and crossover dribble. On the fly play calling. J-Kid calls a play to the low post. Penny's double clutch shot. Hill power slams and Weber tip dunks. And then it also says it includes expansion teams Toronto and Vancouver. So anyway, that's NBA Live 96 for the Genesis. And then you have the Genesis EA Sports 96 All-Star lineup. Uh, it came with... And the games I got are Madden 96, College Football USA 96, NHL 96, FIFA Soccer 96, NBA Live 96, PGA Tour 96, Tough Man Contest, uh, Coach K College Basketball, Triple Play 96, FIFA Soccer for the 32X, Tough Man Contest for the 32X, Game Gear FIFA International Soccer, Game Gear Madden 95, Game Gear MLBPA Baseball and Game Gear NHL Hockey 95. And there you go. So that came with it. So any and it came with the uh, you know mail in insert. But anyway, long and short of it is NBA Live 96, Sega Genesis complete. You know, some of these sports games are hard to find for the Genesis man complete. I mean, there really are. You'd figure you know, there's a million different ones. College Slam, this took me forever, but Mr. Deals had it. College Slam, the NBA version. Uh, the college version of the NBA Jam series. Okay. I remember playing this. It was pretty cool. I liked it. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. College Slam. Welcome to the College Slam Arena. The crowd's on their feet. Over 40 college teams, cheerleaders, fight songs, all the rivalry, all the madness. There's a wild dunk. The backboard shatters. This is the slammingest hoops action ever. And there's more. Head-to-head, -head, tournament, and season-long play. College Slam is going to take you to school. And the in-game graphics. Shatter the backboard. Slam and dunks and alley-oops. The road ends here. Storm the defense with the whirlwind. Customize and save your players and stats. Make lightning strike and up to 16 players. It's journey time. And then obviously this is complete. College slam for the Sega Genesis. There you go. College slam. All right. Next game we got, World Series Baseball. Again, this is almost impossible to find. I found a million of them without the instruction book. But as you all know, I want mine complete. And there it is. World Series Baseball. The original... Not a fan. I think 95 with David Justice, or 96 with David Justice on the cover was my favorite. But real Major League Baseball from Sega Sports. All 28 Major League teams in the new six division alignment. All 700 players, including your favorite stars. Many offseason free agent moves and trades are included. Sports talk, new improved play by play commentary. All star features. Home run derby, batting practice, 13, 26, 52, or 162 game league play. Battery backup keeps full statistics. And then they have an in game graphics of in the batter's box view. Uh, the guys on the back, they have John Olerud, Kirby Puckett, Mark Langston, Jack McDowell, Tony Gwynn, Darren Dalton, Burkett, I think it's Jeff Burkett, and Tom Glavin. And then the teams they feature on the back for some reason are the Toronto Blue Jays, New York Yankees, Baltimore Orioles, Chicago White Sox, Philadelphia Phillies, San Francisco Giants, Atlanta Braves, and Colorado Rockies. So there you go, World Series baseball for the Genesis. Pretty good baseball game. Next, we got Sonic Spinball. I got this without the instructions earlier, so I have an extra copy that will be going in my store to sell. But Sonic Spinball, this actually does have the instructions in this one. Thanks for coming. Sonic Spinball. Sonic the Hedgehog spins into pinball pandemonium. Dr. Robotnik's latest robot creation factory is the Vego Fortress, a volcanic island fueled by the Chaos Emeralds and protected by the pinball defense system. Strap on your power sneakers for all new Sonic moves, Sonic rockets into space, spring launches from levers, and balls up for a high al altitude bounce. Multi-round zones of wild Sonic action through glittering caverns, oozing toxic pools, and boiling lava pits. Up to four players can fight a whole new generation of evil enemies, including Roboheads, Jet Propelled Crondors, and the Buzz Bombers. So Sonic Spinball, Sega Genesis, complete. Next we got RBI Baseball 4. 
complete for the Sega Genesis. Graphics on the back, okay, from Tengen. And again, this is complete. It actually comes with, I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. This is a Tengen video game flyer. Oh, let's see what let's see what they have in here. So let me show you this real quick. This is pretty cool. It's a poster flyer. And on the first, on the on the front, it has Dragon's Fury, a pinball game that's beyond your wildest fantasies. So there you go. There's some nostalgia for you. Dragon's Fury for the Genesis, I think. Yeah. And on the back, and all the games that are coming out or have come out or whatever. But I'll go over them real briefly. You got uh, Genesis, you got Rampart, Race Driving, RBI Baseball 4, Paperboy 2, Pit Fighter, Dragon's Fury, which is on the front here, Ro Road Riot 4-Wheel Drive, Hard Driving, Steel Talons, Space Hero, and Miss Pac-Man. And then for the Game Gear, you got Paperboy, Prince of Persia, Marble Madness, Super Space Invaders, Clax, James Bond 007, James Bond 007 again. I don't know what the hell the... Differences. Oh, this is James Bond 007 for the Genesis, and then James Bond 007 for the Game Gear. And then you got MiG-29 Fulcrum also for the Genesis, MIG-29 Fulcrum. Then it advertises the Tengen's Game Accessories, RF Switch, and Control Pad for the Genesis. So that's the in-game flyer. I'm not going to go through every single game. If you guys really want me to keep reading these flyers, I will. But other than that, I'll just go over the games that they featured. But anyway, that's uh, RBI Baseball 4. Again, pretty cool stuff. I had all these sports games as a kid for the Genesis. Man, Genesis was the sports console in my opinion. It really was. Super Nintendo was more of an RPG console, whereas Genesis was a sports and action console. But the best just keeps getting better. It wasn't easy to outdo RBI 3, but we did it with RBI 4. You get all the latest stats and more. Lots more. Incredibly realistic graphics, unique stadiums for every team, and whole new ways to play ball like Home Run Derby and Game Breakers. And then you got in-game graphics that say, all new graphics and animation so awesome you'll feel like you're at the ballpark. Every stadium is unique with different fence distances, colors, and indoor or outdoor fields. Like a real manager, you select your lineup made of, of, of real stars and superstars. Go for the fence against a pitching machine with your favorite hitter in Home Run Derby and put yourself into a game-winning, heart-pounding Game Breakers situation. So RBI Baseball 4 from Tengen for the Sega Genesis Complete Inbox. Okay, next game we got the first NHL hockey uh, ever for the Genesis, uh, the, you know, from EA Sports. Okay, this is obviously Complete Inbox. Oh, it's falling apart, but there you go. You got the instructions and everything there. So the only game to score with the NHL. Includes all 22 NHL teams and two All-Star teams, each skater modeled on 14 different attributes such as scoring, skating, aggression, and rink awareness. All the fast-paced action of real hockey, superior skating, body checks, and ballistic slap shots. Slip one past the goalie and you light up the board. It takes sharp skills and skates to succeed in this league. Watch out, slashing, holding, and tripping won't earn you some time in the penalty box, if the ref sees you. This game has all the details down, including instant replay, scouting reports, realistic sounds, booing, cheering, clapping, and dynamic crowd reactions. The teams that it features on the back... Uh, the Washington Capitals, Toronto Maple Leafs, Philadelphia Flyers, New York Islanders, Calgary Flames, San Jose Sharks. No idea what this is. I can't even read it. Uh, New Jersey Devils, St. Louis Blues. Mon I assume this is the Montreal Canadiens. Wa oh, Hartford Whalers, Winnipeg Jets, Detroit Red Wings, and Buffalo Sabres. What is that one? Oh, yeah, Vancouver Canucks. Okay, that's what I thought it was, but... Looks like a weird diner. I don't know if you guys can even see that logo right there. It's the old Canucks logo. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. But anyway, that's NHL hockey. Then we got the first Streets of Rage complete in box. Okay. Uh, the original version, not the, what do you call it, version, the uh, Sega Classics version. But again, complete Streets of Rage. Great two-player action. Axel, Adam, and Blaze, ex-cops, the solution to punk pollution. The city's a war zone, and they're going out two at a time to give the gangs a kick in the guts. This is the ultimate in-street combat. These city fighters are martial arts maniacs with a battery of 40 individual controllable attacks, including jabs, headbutts, and overhead kicks. 
They're up against a mob of kung fu creeps and axe hurling fiends. On the streets, it's only two of them against hordes of attacking scum. Slamming a pipe wielding weirdos and bashing with their own metal. Throw an uppercut or an elbow smash. These goons keep coming. Streets of Rage for the original Genesis. For the original Genesis. Obviously. And this one I was really happy to find. Uh, I'm still missing the first one, but this is Toe Jam and Earl and Panic on Funkatron. I remember going over to my friend's house to play this in middle school. It was awesome. I had hours of fun with this game. Uh, I wanted to, you know, and obviously I got it when I had a Genesis, but I never really played it that much because I was busy with work and everything else. But I want—I bought it again, obviously, to complete my collection, and I also want to play it again and try to beat it eventually. But I remember this game was pretty awesome. The boys are back and in words, worlds of trouble. Toji and Earl, the dynamic duo of funk, have returned home after much interplanetary partying, but all is not well. Pesky Earthlings hitched a ride on their ramp past a rocket ship and are now causing havoc all over the once peaceful planet of Funkatron, and TJ and E are to blame. 17 levels of funkified action, including fun fungi jumping, arctic sliding, and bubble bouncing. Check the scene with the ultra cool funk scan. Hey, what's lurking in the bushes? Everyone into the pool. Explore underwater passages to find secret layers and areas. Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Great game. Great, great game. Okay. All right. Then we got another last of the Genesis games. We got Hardball in the original Hardball case. Look at this. If this doesn't bring back memories, I don't know what does. Hardball. And it's complete in box. The game is actually sealed. Okay, and then instructions are in the back. You have to take my word for it, but I'm not going to pull everything out. But, uh, no, it's actually put the thing on backwards. There you go. Okay, the best-selling baseball game of all time comes to Genesis. The first 8-megabit sports game. Uh, over 1 million fans can't be wrong. Hardball is the most fun, the most action-packed, and the most realistic baseball simulation ever to step up to the plate. And now with 8 megabits of power, it's in the league by itself. Uncompromising arcade action. The home runs and line drives. Double plays and double steals. Baseball so real you can almost smell the hot dogs. World Series Championship. Play the best of seven fall classics. Save your one lost record after each contest. Hear the voice of a real National League umpire. 17-year veteran Eddie Montague calls him as he sees him. Fully digitized diamond sounds. From the crack of the bat to the roar of the crowd, hear dozens of in-your-ear sounds. Designed by Dan Thompson. World Championship Action. Looks great, plays real, major league graphics, and true play ball player animation. Pre-game batting cage. Practice against every conceivable pitch. Take some hacks and go sign autographs. Manage with total player control. Choose your lineup. Make substitutions, control runners, batters, pitchers, and fielders. And you got 26 big league rosters. Great ball clubs from every major league city. So, this is the original hardball for the Genesis. There you go. Okay, now we go into the PlayStation 1. This is the big box of NHL Face-Off. Okay, the first NHL Face-Off for the Sony PlayStation. Okay, uh, all 26 NHL teams and all 650 NHL players. You're the left wing for the Detroit Red Wings in the Stanley Cup Finals. Game 7, overtime, face-off in your zone. Yeiserman wins a drop. You break up the ice. You catch the pass on the tape. Break away. One-on-one -on -one with New Jersey's Mark Tambro door. Do you go top shelf for five hole? He pulls the trigger. Do you have the skills? Prepare yourself for NHL face-off, the ultimate hockey simulation, only available on PlayStation. Uh, NHL Face-Off features NHL Season Play, Exhibition 84 Game Season, Playoffs, and Stanley Cup Play Modes. Team Management, make player trades and create your own players to build a dynasty. Multiple playing perspectives, four different interactive playing views, you choose a camera angle. Real hockey animation, five types of checks, slap shots, one-timers, multiple goal saves, deep defenders and goalies, speed burst, and more. Fully interactive 3D environment, players on the bench, the crowd, and the official will interact in the action. Real player attributes, players' abilities all based upon their actual NHL player stats, plus NHL players' pictures are in the game. And then the inning game graphics say Anaheim's Korea goes top shelf on the Flyers' Hextall. Boston's Ray Bork moves down the slot on a breakaway. Adam Oates lets one fly from the top of the faceoff circle. Sean Van Allen charges around the net looking to score a wraparound. And Philadelphia's Eric Desjardins battles along the boards of the puck. So again, this is the original NHL faceoff, the first one for the PS1 in the top case, box, top long box case. And there's that. Okay, now, continuing on with PS1 games. Let's see what we got. We got March Madness 98, the PS1. From EA Sports. Okay. Are you ready for the madness? Real college teams and strategy. Call plays on the fly. Accurate college rankings and stats. 107 Division 1A teams. 9 top women's teams. Preseason and conference tournaments. Create players and build stats. Custom tournaments up to 64 teams. Real college madness. Unique momentum meter. New college style arenas and gyms. 
team specific fight songs and charts, charts, chants, authentic college uniforms and logos. And the in game graphics say momentum meter, shattering backboard, nine top women's teams. March Madness pressure and drive of the Final Four. This is pretty cool that they actually have women's teams in there. That was pretty cool. March Madness 98 for the PS1. Okay, there you go. Next game we got for the PS1, we got NCAA Final Four 2001. From Sony. 989 Sports. Made by the pros, played by the pros. Brand new 3D player models, new game consultation by 2000 Final Four MVP Mayton Clevis. Over 300 teams from every Division I conference. New moves, dunks, shots, blocks, passes, dribbles, and steals. Authentic college hoops. Team-specific playbooks, sixth man meter and tournament bubble watch. New commentary from ESPN's Quinn Buckner. In the in-game graphics, a control every shot with touch shooting. Final Four intensity, nobody drains three-pointers like Florida, ultra-realistic arena models, 20 new high-flying dunks, unrivaled team selection, and Arizona says not my house. NCAA Final Four 2001 for the PS1. There it is. Okay, next game we got MLB 2003 with Barry Bonds on the cover for the PS1. Okay. Uh, play like the pros with total control. Own the diamond of total control pitching, batting, and fielding. Test your skills against the best in the game. Authentic MLB strategic AI design with pro players and coaches. Help your club from the batter's box to the owner's suite. Control your destiny with career, franchise, spring training modes, and more. The only Major League Baseball game for the PlayStation this year. Take the field with the seven-year season veteran MLB 2003. And the in-game graphics show ultimate showdowns, attempted thievery, 463 inning savers, and textbook baseball. Again, this is MLB 2003 for the PS1. Next game we have for the PS1, Madden 98. Okay, when Game Day 98 came out, they had polygons. Madden 98 was still with sprites. Game Day 98 was better. And then Game Day just went downhill big time. But Madden 98 is NFL football at its best. Game Pro gave them that quote. The speed and intensity of NFL football Madden style. Okay, so you got smarter liquid AI based on real NFL schemes, rotating zones, zone blitzes, all new Madden playbook, Madden mode, smartest computer opponent ever. Faster V poly technology, dynamically loaded light source super sprites, fast and fluid graphics. Deeper, touch passing, lead receivers, timing patterns, fantasy draft, all new summer all play by play and Madden analysis. Over 120 NFL teams, multiple seasons, ISO cam, control any player, create and trade players. An in-game graphics show, quarterback cam, monitor fatigue and read coverages, V-polygraphic, supersonic gameplay, 100-plus mo-cap animations, swim move, one-handed grabs and stiff arms, and one to eight players create custom teams. There you go, Madden 98 PS1. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next we got NFL Blitz 2000 for the PS1. There you go. I got a GameStop U sticker right on the back, but that's okay. It's back and it's better than ever. Sequel to the number one selling NFL Blitz. NFL Blitz 2000 adds four player support, realistic weather conditions, a tournament mode, new fields, and new stadiums. NFL Blitz 2000 continues the tradition of hard hitting tackles and in your face arcade style action. Blitz passing. Rifle the ball to a receiver with the touch of a button and go for the touchdown. Build a unique playbook and create offensive and defensive plays. Call offensive and defensive audibles at the line of scrimmage. On fire mode, give superpower performance to your players. NFL Blitz 2000, no refs, no rules, no mercy. So here you go, Blitz 2000 for the PS1. Rip this, rip this off. There you go. All right. Next game we got for the PS1, Jet Moto 2, the one I was missing from the previous video. They had it, Black Label Edition. Jet Moto 2. 3D racing like never before. Extreme all-terrain racing on 10 treacherous new tracks. Master new obstacles, catch more air, and perform challenging stunts in the most intense racing experience ever. 10 new unrelenting tracks. Race through canyons, national parks, roller coasters, and more. New obstacles to conquer. Corkscrews, waterfalls, volcanoes, and bottomless pits. 1 and 2 player racing. Both horizontal and vertical split screen racing. Improved polygonal graphics. And there you go. Jet Moto 2. PS1. Pretty simple. There it is. Okay, next game we got NCAA Football 2000, EA Sports, College Football 2000 version. Okay. Every game counts the road to the national championship. The features over 20 bowls, including exclusive Nokia Sugar Bowl, all 114 Division 1A and 26 new Division 1 AA teams. Create a school. Choose everything from uniform to play style. Dynasty mode. Goes deep. Player management includes recruiting and redshirting. The Heisman Trophy. Compete for the ultimate postseason award. The coach's edge. Real coaching tips give you the edge. And in-game graphics say team-specific playbooks, intense school rivalries, 
Powerhouse action, ultimate player control, all new mocap moves. There you go, NCAA Football 2000 for the PS1. Next game, NBA Jam Extreme for the PS1. Okay, this is one of the rarer NBA Jams ever. But NBA Jam Extreme, the stale old look of earlier jams is no more. Replaced by silky smooth motion capture players in a completely 3D arena with wilder dunks, tons of new features, lots of new codes and tricks, 3D polygon characters, and Marv Albert, this title is sure to please. Game Player Magazine said that about it. Next generation graphics, all new 3D engine, ultra realistic player movement through motion capture technology, graphic detail that makes the players look like their real life counterparts. NBA Realism, player attributes based on NBA stats, all 29 teams, all 29 courts, over 170 NBA player stats, players, finals, playoffs, finals, and all-star games, Marv Albert at the play-by-play. -play. Extreme Gameplay, over 30 outrageous new extreme dunks, all new extreme button elevates your game, jam cam zooms in on game action, over 60 hidden players and secret teams, slam with one to four players. So you got all the teams, all the action, up close action, instant replays with multiple camera angles, authentic home courts and realistic player movement, players graded on 13 attributes based on real NBA stats. This is NBA Jam Extreme for the PS1. And then the last PS1 game is Hot Shots Golf for the PS1. There you go. Uh, the experts agree Hot Shots Golf is not only a blast to play, it's quick and easy to learn with seamless loading and awesome graphics. Paul Johnson from Sports Magazine said the best looking and most fun playing golf game of all time. Dave Stevens from ESPN said the graphics are so vivid it's like watching golf on TV. Mike Stinton from the Golf Channel said playing Hot Shots Golf is like being on the golf course with the great, great golf engine. This game is so much fun to play. GamePro Magazine said easily the best looking courses in PlayStation Golf. Phenomenally fast loading times and intuitive controls. And then the in-game graphics show catch shots from multiple angles, six fantastic courses, ten unique characters, 18 holes of miniature golf, all the classic game modes, plus seven ways to bet your money. So Hot Shots Golf, PS1, first one. And then the last uh, round of games that we got, going, uh, I got one PlayStation game, it's on the bottom, but the rest of these are uh, Saturn games. I got NBA Action 98, Sega exclusive for the Sega Saturn with Kobe Bryant on the cover. Okay, NBA Action 98. And it shows pro teams, pro players, pro plays, pro stats, pro paint. NBA Action 98. The total NBA program, full team rosters from 97-98 NBA season, stat tracking in 16 categories, trade players, offensive and defensive playbooks, team-specific plays, multi multiple camera angles, player ratings by real NBA scouts, click, click Chick Hearn with the play-by-play. -play. Then you got all 29 arenas, instant replay mode, create a player uh, fiction, create a player function, awesome views, and call your own plays. NBA Action 98 for the Saturn. Okay. Next game we got, we got NHL All-Star Hockey 98 for the Saturn. Okay, the sequel to the NHL All-Star Hockey. Uh, NHL All-Star Hockey 98. Superb new engine and unsurpassed gameplay. All 26 NHL teams and over 650 NHL players. Updated stats and rosters. Make lightning fast glove saves. Check your opponent. Call your own plays. Cool animations. Multiple camera angles. NHL All-Star Hockey 98 for the Sega Saturn. Okay, the next game, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for the Sega Saturn. This is going in my Mortal Kombat, in the game room, my Mortal Kombat library. Which has every Mortal Kombat game pretty much ever made except for the game comma, this and that. But the fight of your life, enter the world of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and discover what awaits you. you got 19 immediately playable fighters and two bosses. Meet up with some old adversaries. Think you know them? Guess again. They've got new combos, fatalities, and animalities, and they're looking for you. There's also a few dudes playing their own version of Hide and Seek. Find them if you can. Four newly added backgrounds set the stage for your battles. Battle against a computer, opt for two-on-two -two fighting, or try out the very cool eight-fighter tournament mode. Dazzling graphics, incredible CD sound, and motion capture technology produce the most realistic battles you'll ever fight. It continues. New characters and backgrounds, someone's got to lose, the agony of defeat, actual Saturn screenshots shown. So Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Sega Saturn. Okay, next Saturn game we have is NBA Action. The Sega Saturn, the first one. Okay. Uh, color commentary by Marv Albert, right over there. Take it to the hole. All 29 NBA teams, over 400 NBA players, monster surround sound, sweet 360 camera angles, radical playing view, season stat tracking, in-depth playbooks for offensive and defensive plays, user records, player attributes of more than 20 categories, full instant replay options, create a player, create a roster, custom playoffs, player trades, season-ending awards. NBA action for the Sega Saturn. 
Okay. Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Saturn sealed. I was pumped to get this sealed. There's a little crack in the case, but other than that, the game is factory sealed. Okay. There's a little rip there, but other than that, it's sealed. And uh, pretty easy. Uh, Virtual Fighter 2, the superior 3D arcade fighting game only on Sega Saturn. Thoroughly enhanced realistic animation of each character from the extraordinary arcade hit with double the resolution and double the speed. Two new characters, Lion and Shun, join Akira, Sarah, Jackie, Lau, Pi, Wolf, Jeffrey, and Cage in new incredibly detailed arenas and backgrounds. Contains over 1,200 radical moves from the arcade hit with unique moves and power plays for each character. Use the virtuous stick to bring home the arcade action. So Virtual Fighter 2, sealed, factory sealed, Sega Saturn. The last Saturn game I already told you about earlier was Virtual Cop 2 that I got because the game itself in that box was not great. Uh, Virtual Cop 2, last time was merely a training exercise. You may have won the battle, but the war has just begun. This time they're everywhere, in the air, on the subways, doing 90 mile per hour drive-bys across the interstate, and the worst part is they're sporting enough firepower to supply the Russian army. You play the coin op, now play Virtual Cop 2 in your living room. We dare you to find any difference. And the stunner is sold separately, but it came together in that box. The in-game graphics show upgraded with a new level of realism that will blow you away, literally. Waste terrorists on subways, freeways, even on helicopters high above the cityscape. More speed, more enemies, more power to you. So Virtua Cop 2, Sega Saturn. And then the last game that I got from Mr. Deals, uh, they had ooh, NBA Tadami NBA in the Zone for the PlayStation in the top box. And graphically, it was actually not that bad when this came out. This was pretty good for a PS1 game that first came out. You can see the screenshots at all. But graphically, it ain't bad. Uh, game played like hell, but the graphics were good. So every so often, a player is one of those rare nights where everything goes right. The angles are just there, man. Put up a tray, swish, launch a fadeaway jumper, no rim, just net. Dump a skyhook over the giant in the middle, count it. Get in the zone and watch the other guys try to keep up with this. Real-time 3D texture map polygons for fluid, realistic 5-on-5 action. Different camera angles and multiple pr perspectives. All 29 NBA teams with real NBA players. All the offensive and defensive moves you'd expect from the big dogs. Behind the back dribbling, no-look passing, fadeaway jumpers, rebound dunks, alley-oops, and more. In the zone isn't a state of mind, it's state-of-the-art. So those are the games. Uh, again, Mr. Deals had a ton of stuff. I'm happy as hell that I went. Uh, for those of you who, got, who are collecting like I am, go to Mr. Deals in Albany area. He's got a ton of stuff, all the stuff that he had. And he actually had more stuff that he actually had in storage that he couldn't get me at that time. So I'm going to send him a list. Hopefully you can get me the rest of the stuff. But great, man. I, you know, it's great. I'm almost done collecting all the stuff that uh, I want to do uh, that I had as kids, all the games that I had as kids, a as a kid. So, you know, we've still got a bunch of N64 games to go, a bunch of Genesis games to go, but my Saturn and Dreamcast list is almost complete. So thanks for, you know, coming along the ride with me. Uh, put some um, comments in the, in the comment section below if you think I can do stuff better. I, at some point, once I have my collection pretty much complete, I will give you a tour not only of the game room that I have down there uh, with my different collections and different things that I've done, but also uh, I have a sports memorabilia section uh, which is pretty cool, and then I have, you know, uh, some books and stuff that uh, you guys might get a kick out of seeing. But anyway, that'll happen very soon. So again, thanks for watching. More videos to come in the future. Uh, keep collecting.